Today we're going to talk about a simple function in ClickSense where we can change the background color of the table based, based on the values. And um, this used to be harder to do before, but I think in the latest updates of Click, they've kind of made it super easy. But I'm just going to go over it because it's just so helpful. And here I've just created a table with city, sales, number of orders, and margin percentage. And all you got to do is let's go to edit and we're going to click on the measure here, sales, and you have something called background color information, color expression. And if you open it, you can give it a particular color. Now, here is a list. I'll have it linked below. You have a list of colors that are inbuilt uh, in Click that you can directly call, or you could use RGB colors. Um, so you could call RGB with its values by looking it up online, but there are plenty of calculators that show you what the RGB colors are for the color that you're looking for. But I think the easiest way would be to look at the inbuilt ones. Um, they have quite a bit here, uh, which should be good enough for most people. So let's just say red and right so now all of this becomes red but this is not that optimal because for most people what you want is um, colors based on on certain measures so you only want it to be red in case so you would need to make an, an if statement so if the measure there is sales so if if the field sales is greater than 10,000 then we want red, else we want, let's say, yellow. So this becomes our expression and we give OK. And here we have one yellow because it's uh, less. So. Let's change this a little bit more. Yeah, here we go. So it's easier um, if you want to relay some kind of information where you only want to highlight certain cities over a certain level of sales, then that's how you would color code it. And I think this is super helpful and important. Um, we could do the same for others. So let's say if so we have sales, let's go to number of orders background color information so we want to say if the field name is number of orders if number of orders is let's give it random 250 then you want it blue else we want it green and we close and apply. And we see it this way. So I usually like uh, color coding most of the tables because it gives you way more information and it's easier for people to sort things out. Yeah, so um, this is how you would do it. I hope it was helpful. This, These are the colors that you can choose from Yep, hope it was helpful. Um, like and subscribe for more and stay tuned. Cheers.